Terrifier 3 is one of the most hyped up movies of the year. Using the claims that barf bags are necessary to watch this movie. Because Terrifier 3 premieres had people barfing. And this has gotten the movie banned in several countries. But is it really all that bad? And I have now seen the movie, so we are about to talk about that in my opinions. Is it worth vomit bags? And is it worth this movie getting banned in several different countries? Let's kick off this segment with talking about my viewing experience with Terrifier 3 and how it went for me personally. Now, I faced my first issue with trying to go and view this movie when I walked in. And I was immediately greeted by several signs that read, If you start to feel sick, we will have medical standby on staff for you to go to attend to. And I was thinking, oh, that's all for the hype. Well, the problem didn't start there. When I went to go scan my ticket, which I went with my 17-year-old friend, he got in just fine with his ID. But when I showed mine and they found out I wasn't 17, I wasn't allowed in the theater without a 21-year-old, which raised a huge problem to start out with. But eventually, we got the help of a 21-year-old, one who took claim for me to take me into the theater to check out Terrifier 3. So with all that hype, I was low-key nervous. And one of the things that had been really hyped up was the opening scene. This portion of the video will contain spoilers for the opening 10 minutes of the Terrifier 3 movie. So if you haven't checked it out yet and you don't want the opening scene spoiled for you, then I would click off. But without further ado, we're going to dive into it and talk about why this was so controversial. Okay, so as the movie started, I was already getting nervous that it was just so bad that there was a reason we got ID'd when entering Terrifier 3. So towards the beginning of the movie, we open up with a house. A house on Christmas Eve, and Art the Clown is in that house. And we follow a little girl that thinks she just saw Santa Claus and ends up finding Art the Clown. He pulls a axe out of his bed, goes upstairs, and kills a kid cutting his head off, cutting his limbs off, everything, and it's off screen. Well, later in the movie, the mom runs in there and sees this kid's body on his bed, and it is just disgusting. And if you think that's bad, the way they did the mom's death was insane. So I feel like for the most part, this opening scene was pretty overhyped, kind of. I mean, you kind of see her get ripped in half, but compared to a kill that I don't think anyone's talking about, yeah, this is pretty crazy. Now, for this video, I do kind of want to avoid story spoilers, but for the most part, I'm going to be covering some of the most wild and disgusting scenes that happen. Now, some of the scenes that didn't make me personally throw up, but I can see some other people throwing up, is for one, there's a scene where the demon who summoned Art the Clown and the demon who gave him his powers starts pleasuring herself with a shard of glass. And though, I'm not even joking, why Art the Clown is sitting over there killing someone, she's just chilling, flicking the bean. That is a real scene that happens in Terrifier 3. Another kill that Loki had me grossed out has been another one that's been really hyped up. The already infamous shower scene where uh, Art the Clown takes a chainsaw up a dude's anus, turns it on, and takes it all the way through him, which was pretty disgusting, kind of funny, and slightly made me want to puke. And another kill that just had me grossed out and disgusted was, um, there's a scene where a woman gets a tooth tube shoved down her throat and art puts rats down those tubes and it goes into her throat and gnaws through her throat causing her to bleed out which is the only kill that personally made me remotely sick but if i'm being honest with you yeah this is really not that bad i got led in the terrifier too with my friend when i was 13 and my friend was 12 at the time just fine, no ID, and to be honest, this wasn't too much worse than that, so I don't understand why there's barf bags. Yes, if Terrifier 2 gross you out, this will do pretty much the exact same, maybe just a little bit worse, but yeah, I feel like it's a little overhyped. But to be honest, Terrifier 3 is my favorite movie in the Terrifier series so far. I'll talk about the lore they introduced later when I do a video covering Art the Clown's origin. Anyway, I had a great time doing this video, I will see you all later.